Hey folks, it's Jerry with TradeTheFifth.com. Wanted to show you a nice 6E trade that I did yesterday, which is a Euro futures. It's the Euro against the US dollar in the futures contract. Each tick in the futures for this contract is worth $6.25. And you can see that uh, after the US market open in my time zone, which is 9.30 Eastern time, uh, I've got a nice black box breakout uh, indicator signal here. Uh, with a stop in the cloud after a pull back to the cloud. It's kind of the signal that Paul and I like to take is we're below the cloud. We get a little pull back into it. Um, you know, the, the cloud is starting to downtrend, so you feel like the trend is going down, and the euro has been downtrending uh, a little bit after a break of a consolidation area, so it was a nice place to take a trade. I'll show you a little bit of how I managed it, but I uh, got in three contracts here. Let it run for a while. It um, you know did push down. We hit the 100% uh, target, which is this uh, orange line here. Then the 160% and almost to the 200% times risk. But I let the trade ride for a while since we had broken a consolidation area that I'll show in the market profile here in a minute. But let the trade ride for a while. Got a consolidation into the cloud. Got another signal here. Um, I was in the trade, of course, so I wasn't really paying attention to the signals, but. This one stopped out, pulled into the cloud, got another signal. This one could have also been a nice one to ride down uh, that entered at 114155, uh, and it never came back and touched the stop. And we had, you know, within just a very short time, 20 minutes or so, uh, could have pulled off a 200% times risk. But as I managed this trade, I started, you know, when we hit these pullbacks and then pulled away, I started moving the stops, you know, down following the cloud a little bit as this trade really started pushing down and we got accelerated price action to the downside. And as this started uh, happening, I started wondering, you know, where might I want to think about taking profits for a day trade? And I'll show you the idea that I had in market profile that ended up working out. And I'll show you, um, you know, here's this consolidation price zone from the 27th. The dates here are one date off, right? So the uh, the contract opens on the 5th. This is the day of the trade that I'm showing you. The contract opens on the 5th and closes on the 6th. So the market profile shows up on the date that the uh, that particular day opened, uh, not the day it closed. So that's if there's any confusion on the dates in this market profile, that's what's going on there. In any event, you'll see there's a consolidation area um, in this zone here. And you'll see that this price action has broken this consolidation zone. And we're starting, this is uh, 1142 is where I took the trade. And we looked like we were getting accelerated price action. And as I look to the left of this consolidation zone, I see this long, thin area. And these on a candle chart are going to look like, you know, very rapid upward, you know, short squeeze, short covering type candles with not a lot of activity. They go up and then you see, you know, multiple candles, uh, you know, that occur together in this area. But this one is usually a single candle going from one area to the next. And these are thin uh, areas where not as much volume has traded. And you can see, uh, you can't read the numbers, but you can see four digits of volume here where you have consolidation, but very thin price action down in this area. And as this trade started pulling down, I started thinking maybe this is going to be an area where the trade is going to end for the day. And it's an, you know, it was right before. It's where these single areas are in the volume of market profile. And then you see there's some con consolidation or much more fair price activity going on here. So that's kind of where I started targeting. And you'll see this is an area around 11400. It's sort of an even figure. It's one of those psychological areas where you know, potentially price might stop and it's where I had thought to have the target for the day to get out of the trade and sure enough that's pretty much what happened if you if I advance the uh, trading over a little bit here uh, you can see this was my entry at 1142 uh, see the price there where I took the short uh, we ended up coming down we pushed down and now I'm starting to you know, there's some consolidation in this area, and I'm, and I'm starting to move my stop down above some of these um, candles that came back. I'm tightening the stop, 
and here I start coming into this uh, price area of 114 and sure enough you know I can see obviously this is today's price action I can't show you exactly what the depth of market or the dome looks like but at 114 there was a very large price uh, a set of contracts on the uh, bid side of the ladder here that looked like it was an area where it was going to get defended or where short-term traders like myself are going to be looking to take profit and you can see in the depth of market here you know it's 34 35 39 you know in the 30 40 um, contract range and at 11400 there was almost 200 contracts sitting out like a sore thumb uh, on the offer or on the bid of of the depth of market so what I ended up doing was putting two of my contracts front running that 114000 by one tick and thinking that price was going to come down and probably test that particular price and sure enough it did my contracts two of them were taken off at that point and then what I did when those got hit I pulled I noticed that on the offer side there was a contract size you know where these are 50 there was 75 or 80 and what I ended up doing was take um, my remaining contract and I moved it all the way down to one after that which in this case was 11402 um, thinking that if price maybe bounced up it might hit that set of contracts on the offer and maybe continue to take on this 114000 uh, price you know uh, contracts on the offer and of course if it breaks through that and continues with more sell action this thing is really going to start moving at that point so I had my one contract runner um, that I was going to have available to maybe you know get another uh, good chunk out of the trade as it worked out my uh, trailing stop contract was taken out and it turned out that price was actually that was the low of the day at uh, 114000 that contract block was taken out uh, but there was no further price activity to the downside after that and price ended up pulling back up for the remainder of the day uh, it did have a little bit of pullback it did eventually break that towards the end of the day that area because there was no contracts there in the offer it did come back to the cloud and uh, end up going a little bit lower and then found support and started going back up again and this line is the co close of the contract for that day and of course the next day it uh, had some continuation to the downside a little bit and here at around 2 a.m. is when the European session started opening and we got continued I think there was some bad news in Germany or, or somewhere and price activity really started pushing down again and you can see in the market profile today's price action uh, over here on the far right hand side my hand back um, you can see over here this is where the low the absolute low is on January 23rd and that might be the eventual target where this is going to go and test again but you can see this area where I took the contract off yesterday it is continuing to push down now through this zone and starting to test this low here you know which is a potential target the low of that long stretch day where I showed where the targets were it's probably kind of come down and test this area here today and there may be a you know if there's a pullback and might be another potential short in the 60 nonetheless that's the trade that I took I wanted to share with you yesterday on a nice black box breakout indicator trade hope that helps take care guys and have a good trading day today